Next question is from Ants Dope Life. Can smoking weed impact gains? Sure. Yeah. Ants Dope Life. Bro. Definitely. Yeah. yeah, definitely can. You know, um, I, I talked to a cannabinoid scientist uh, recently. I had a great conversation with her. And we went down a whole bunch of different paths with cannabinoids. These are the, the, the compounds that are found in marijuana plants and hemp plants. There are some potential health benefits um, that you can get from cannabinoids. If they improve your health, then they might help you with your gains. But I, I can't, you know, I'm trying to think of all the people I know that smoke weed, how many of them have improved their health from smoking weed. I can think of one person out of the, I don't know, 30, 40 people I know who smoke weed. Most people who smoke weed like to get high. Yeah. And that kind of use is, yeah, it's going to take away from your gains. Cannabinoids, high dose, especially THC, probably negatively affect your anabolic hormones. Um, they predictably lower testosterone levels or anabolic hormone levels, I should say, in animals. They can do that in humans too, especially at, at high doses. Um, it can definitely, if it's used chronically, um, it can definitely reduce motivation, which right. that's not Drive a great- Drive goes down. Yeah, that's not a great thing for, for working out. Um, they can balance out inflammation if used at low doses, but just you know, two or three hits from a joint is way higher than low doses. And at that point, you may be in mm. influencing uh, inflammation in a negative way in terms of gain. So I, I don't think it's, it's not something I'd say, mm. go do this to improve I've your performance. I've heard long distance runners though, like they do well uh, with marijuana. Under the influence. Yeah. Uh, yes. Uh, just during the, yeah. Yeah. Be, have you ever done like event. a, have you ever done a long run? No, I haven't. Yeah, I've done no, mobility. Awesome. I love mobility. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Under the influence. No, but. it's all because it, you trail off, dude. You trail off in your thoughts. And I mean, it's like, it, when, you know, when you hit that, like when you're running, right, it takes about 10, 15 minutes or the so. High. Hit the runner's high. Yeah. yeah. Then you hit that runner's high. And then if on top of that, if you got a cannabis high on, on top of that, like you just kind of drift off into your own thoughts. You know what they all, very therapeutic. And mm. you know what they they attribute the runner's high to? Mm. Um, natural cannabinoids that your body releases. Yeah, so it makes mm. sense, right? Anandamide, I think that one's called 2AG, if I'm not mistaken. And here's something you can do. Okay, if you want to utilize cannabinoids for potential benefits. Use uh, hemp oils, full spectrum. Stay away from too much THC. Too much THC has got some negative effects on the brain. Use things like CBD and some of the other cannabinoids that are non-psychoactive. What those things tend to do is they tend to increase your body's own production of its natural cannabinoids. This is not a bad thing. So if you're gonna if you're gonna notice any benefits from using cannabinoids, then you go in that direction. Not buying the weed at the dispensary that's you know 20 percent thc or smoking a joint with your buddy that's probably going to be detrimental so that's why I, you know for me nowadays i stick to things like ned which is the full hemp oil extract uh you know full spectrum and that i don't notice the negatives if i were to have like weed from the dispensary you know, I, I get that you can have fun with it and all that stuff, but it's negatives is what I know. Yeah, you have to be real careful. I mean, this is a conversation I have with my younger brother a lot, right? Like, I, I was lucky that I didn't really even find cannabis. I mean, I, I had a bad experience with cannabis twice in my early 20s, and it wasn't even until I was like 30 that I really like smoke weed. And like the way I look at it right now, so I like weed the same way like a desperate housewife likes wine. And I look at it the same way. They're like, you got to watch out. You got to be careful of of that. Like, if am I smoking uh, every single night? Am I? Is it something turn into a cougar? Am I? Is, am I dependent <laughs> on this? Am I having the whole bottle type of deal? Like, and because there's so much positive messaging around right now with marijuana and the health benefits of CBD and yada yada yada. At the end of the day, uh, it could turn into uh, an addiction and, a, and an issue like anything else. So if it's getting in the way of you learning more and growing and spending time on your business or working better at your craft or being a good husband or being a good father or being a good son, if it's if it's starting to bleed into those things and you have to be you only you know that you have to be self-aware of that to make that decision and most certainly can bleed into getting into your way of your gains if you know getting high ends up happening and you don't go to the gym because of that like that's it's an obvious issue but if there's ways that you can find it to complement your life and have balance I think there's nothing wrong with it just like I don't think there's anything wrong with someone having the occasional glass of wine to enjoy that with their dinner 
but very easily you can turn into somebody who has two or three glasses of wine every single night. And then mm-hmm. at that point, when do you start asking yourself, okay, is this more of an addiction and something that I rely on more than something's actually helping me or complementing or enhancing who I am? Yeah, and when they do studies on on cannabis and performance, uh, it clearly reduces power output and explosive uh, mm. performance. So for lifting weights, probably not a good idea. Not the best I, idea. I've done it before lifting weights. Terrible. It's it, not a great idea. Yeah. It just doesn't, uh, for me, it definitely doesn't improve performance. Um, but maybe for long- Makes you more interested in it though. Maybe. Yeah. May, for long, lower intensity, kind of long duration stamina by, based movements, maybe the pain killing effects, the fact that you're in this other state of mind might help with that kind of stuff. But for lifting weights and for explosive power- uh, definitely not a good idea. It doesn't make me stronger for sure. Yeah. I can't lift as heavy, you know, but I might be in the gym longer and I might, you know, focus more on squeezing and pumping the muscle or I might just lose my, my focus and start looking at articles. Who knows? Yeah. Or whatever walks by. Yeah. yeah. <laughs>